It's March the 20th. It is the first day of spring, and I have some exciting news and a very exciting article for all of you. And not, we're not excited that it's the first day of spring, but here's the headline, and I will provide you with the link below. Physicist Big Bang Breakthrough confirms. Are you ready? Are you ready for this? Are you sitting down? Something I already knew. Creation. Wow, let me bring you this story. An uh, Israeli physicist says the breakthrough scientific discovery of further evidence of the Big Bang Theory, which some are calling cosmology's missing link, confirms the universe was created. One thing the announcement does is make it clear that the universe had a definite starting point, a creation and a, and a creator as described in the book of Genesis bar Eon University physics professor Nathan uh, Avazer told the times of Israel hard to see I'm just kind of squinting a little bit to deny this now is to deny scientific fact to deny that the universe was created is to deny scientific fact well so much for the theory it's just a theory the theory of evolution there was a big bang but where did that big bang come from it had to be our creator very exciting news I'll read on a little bit more and uh, I will provide you with the link below a team of scientists headed by astronomer John M. Kovac of the Harvard Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics announced Monday it had found the evidence it was seeking to support the theory that the universe had to have a beginning. The New York Times headlined uh, its story, Space Ripples Reveal Big Bang Smoke and Gun. The report said radio astronomers had confirmed they had detected the beginning the beginning, everything had to have a beginning of the Big Bang and a theory by physicist Alan Guth, now at MIT, regarding inflation, appears to be correct. Guth's uh, hypothesis was that the universe was wrenched violently apart when it was a, roughly a trillionth of a trillionth of a trillionth of a second old. Wow, Kovac's study detected ripples in the fabric of space, time, what some are calling gravitational waves as a signature of the creation event, proof of God's existence. As are told the times of Israel that the scientific evidence won't make anyone believe in God without addressing, without addressing who or what caused it. The mechanics of the creation process in the Big Bang match the Genesis story perfectly, he said. It had to, if I had to make up a theory to match the first passages in Genesis, the Big Bang theory would be it. He explained that the sequence of creation in the Genesis narrative begins with nothingness, void, moves to a ball of energy and light, and bang. <laughs> then to the universe. Avizer noted that the Cambridge University uh, cosmologist professor Stephen Hawking found the actual point of creation lies outside the scope of presently known laws of physics. Now about the creator. As a scientist, I tell people that faith in God's just that. We may never prove the existence of God, Avizer said, the Torah quotes God as saying, let there be light. And science tells us that this light came into existence, exploding to create the universe as we know it. At this point, I think we can say that creation is a scientific fact. The article goes on uh, as big as it gets. Um, you'll have the link. The missing link. Very, very exciting news today, but news that I already knew.
this world that we live in, this universe. It didn't just happen by chance. Well, there was a spark out in the deepest depths, the blackness of space. And there was a, a, a big bang. But everything had to be first, a thought. And then it had to be, that thought had to be put into use. We have a creator. I've always known that. God bless you. Exciting news today. If you're going to believe in the Big Bang Theory, you better believe in God and throw out your theory of evolution. Leave me comments and remarks.